today I thought I'd tell you about um, my wireless system. Um, the reason why I use a wireless system and perhaps why you might want to use a wireless system. Also, if you haven't got a wireless system yet, uh, what kind of wireless system would be best for you perhaps? Um, the problem is wireless systems are a little bit like pickups and everything else. You don't know what it's going to sound like until really you know, until you actually play through it. And you can't always tell if you're testing it out in a guitar shop or anything like that. The really, the only real test is to, you know, get with a band, play a gig and, you know, make sure everything works okay. Generally, uh, most wireless systems that um, that guitar shops sell anyway, uh, and, and reputable companies on Amazon and stuff like that, um, are, are usually pretty good. However, um, there are really good uh, wireless systems and there are pretty crappy wireless systems even though they all kind of work and um, the person out listening to the music won't hear the difference in sound only you would hear the difference between a cable and a, and a wireless system but that's really important for us guitar players so um, I was running for the last two years a Line 6 G30 which isn't the top of their range it isn't the bottom of the range now either but uh, it's a digital wireless system um, which is perfectly good, nothing wrong with it, absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Um, but um, for me, um, uh, I was thinking um, of changing beca because there was a couple of reasons. Uh, on, the, on the G30 and everything above the G30, you get, um, you get like a, a little unit which you plug your uh, guitar lead in and then you plug it into your guitar. Um, I'll try and get a picture of it. And um, basically, you plug it into your guitar. And the thing is with that is that um, in the first week I had that, I broke the little tang off the back, so I had it in my back pocket. In the end, I attached it to my guitar strap. Slight problem with that is that when you're changing from a Les Paul to a Flying V guitar, you have to change the, the guitar strap as well, because you can't use the guitar, same guitar strap. So the thing is, you got to undo all this stuff and you know uh, and, and all that. Kind of. In the end, I put the in the end I put the G30 thing into my back pocket. But the problem is, every time I bent around and moved it, for some reason, it made the battery disconnect in the uh, uh, in the container, which cut me out. Um, so I was getting really annoyed with that. So in the end, um, I looked around for a wireless system that has one that has the wireless that actually plugs in um, to your guitar. Problem with that is all the all them were like all cheapy stuff and uh, I was trying to stay away from like the really cheapy stuff and I tried one as well and uh, I wasn't that impressed with it really it just didn't sound like it was carrying the sound uh, uh, as if I was using you know a short cable so um, I wasn't really impressed with that. Um, Live 6 did come up with one uh, which would do that, but then the problem is um, if you've got a strat, it doesn't fit in the, um, the hole. But, um, but anyway, that's why I didn't use those. So I was looking around for one that did use one, and I found one with, um, with had this kind of connector, um, which is what I was looking for, this kind of connector. Problem is, you know, it comes with a stigma of being cheap. But anyway, um, I saw the guy that's selling these at a guitar show a couple of weeks back, and uh, he was selling selling the selling them for 150 pounds, and I thought that's good value for money if this works. The only way to find out if this is going to work is to buy the damn thing, take it back, and give it a gig. So that's what I did. What I did is um, I took it back. I got uh, that might. I took it back, put it in my guitar rig, connected it all up, pressed the button, to switch it on, press this button, to switch it on, and it works straight away. You didn't have to fiddle around doing anything. It works straight away, and uh, I did it. I played it at a gig. And I did a whole gig with it. I ran around the pub. I even went into the garden. This still worked. Um, obviously, subject to you know whatever the walls have got in it. Um, I think this does. Uh, I, I can't remember how far it goes, but it, it does a ridiculous amount. The problem is most wirelesses work great, and when when you see when you see uh, companies um, showing you how far their wirelesses go, usually there's not there's no obstacles between this and this. You know, there's no obstacle. So, um, uh, so w I suppose we could we could do that and show you how well that works, but that'd be pointless. All I'm telling you this now is that I run this. I was in a pub. I went out to the pub garden, and you could still hear me playing the guitar. It wasn't cutting out. It was fine. So there's nothing wrong with that. But more importantly, with this, I found that it's exactly the same sound as if I was playing with a short cable in. That's the sound I got. 
So I was really, really mightily impressed with that. And um, so I thought that deserves at least me telling whoever wants to watch this video about that system. I'll put some details uh, in the bottom there. I am mightily impressed. And I think if you go on their website, there are guitar magazines and organizations that are also very impressed with that. And I think that's a pretty good job considering they're only asking for 150 pounds. When to get something like that, I think, I think if, 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 if a major company put that out on a marketplace of that quality, um, they would be asking double. Okay, I'm gonna go into technical now. This is really technical stuff, so pay attention. Right, what you do with this is you plug it in uh, to the mains. Then you switch it on in the back, right? And then all these little lights come up. Then you get this and you switch this on and a little light comes up and it flashes. Then these lights, right here, this is really cool. This light here, this one here, oh, sorry about that. This one here tells you that you've got a signal. The one next to it, which is red, which isn't showing anything, anything at the moment, says you've got, tells you if you've got any, inter any interference. Get this, the one next to that tells you how much battery power this has got. So this is uh, a brilliant idea. I don't know what other, if, if any other companies do that, but it tells you, I'm gonna repeat that. It tells you how much power this has got left in it. Unbelievable. I'm sure there's others that do, do the same thing, but, um, but, for, but, but not for 150 quid, right? So uh, that's the technical stuff. There's nothing more technical than that apart from I'm going to plug it in to my guitar and show you what it sounds like uh, compared with a cable. That's it. That's all we need to do next. Technical over. <laughs> What's left to say? It's a great piece of equipment. It's the Smoothhound Classic Wireless System. Um, the reason I'm reviewing it is because I use it and I'm going to continue to use it. It's a good bit of kit. Uh, go check them out yourself. Go and have a look on their website. Uh, the link's going to be below there. Uh, and you can find out for yourself you know, what other people say about it, not just me. So um, hopefully, hopefully that's uh, some valuable information. Anyway, don't forget, like, uh, tell me what you think. Put some comments in the bottom. What kind of wireless system do you use? Is it any good? Is it any good? Do you have any latency issues? Do you have any sound issues? Whatever. Tell me about it. I want to know. But even more importantly, please subscribe because there's loads more really cool stuff coming your way. Catch you later!